That was sick. My diet works, doesn't it? <laughs> that pre workout has done me wonders. Right guys, so welcome to this video. This is a slightly different video today. So, if you saw my last video, obviously uh, Niall, Olympic uh, gymnast, I, he took me on his day, his training, on how to backflip, crucifix, all these different things in his gym, which was class. I'm still suffering now with the forearms from it. But he's now coming into my world, and he's openly admitted he, he doesn't eat a lot. You can see he doesn't, he's not, um, a big guy when he's 60 kg. I'm going to show him what I typically eat before we go and train and then he's going to show me what he typically eats as well which I'm guessing is not a lot. <laughs> so at the minute we've got the barbecue on, we're going to cook some steak, some chicken, some salmon, eggs, rice, pasta, all that kind of stuff. So I'm on a bit of a bulk at the minute so the next four weeks is really ramping the food up. I'm up three pounds this week, we're up to 213 pounds and I'm just going to give him a little insight into what it takes because I don't think people if they're not in the bodybuilding world, realize how difficult it is. It's not just about lifting weights and turning up in a gym. It's about taking yourself out of comfort zones, eating more than your body wants to. And I really struggle with this side of it. That's why I'm not a big open class bodybuilder because the food aspect of bodybuilding has always been my kryptonite, should I say. I just can't seem to get enough food in in order to, to gain weight quickly. So yeah, I'm looking forward to showing him this. We'll see how he gets on, how he fares. He'll probably only do one of the meals and then we're gonna go and hit a shoulder session. And then he's just down there at the minute down the river, sizing up the river. So I think we might jump in the river after as well. So all my chicken, steak and salmon, all my meats are from Muscle Food. You will have known that by now if, uh, if you've followed me for the last decade. <laughs> but yeah, I can't fault them. I get my fillet steaks from them, my Scottish salmon, my organic chicken, everything. Awesome, delivered to your door. Check out the link below. Hello! <laughs> I'm getting nervous. So I'd like to say, I'm, um, before I became a gymnast, I was actually a professional chef. Here we go. And I'm, uh, I know exactly what to do. I can give you some tips if you want. Oh, on then. To barbecue some uh, Yeah. What some seasoning meat. would you put with a steak and chicken then? Uh, steak seasoning with that. <laughs> Salt. <laughs> Salt, good Butter. Man. It's a start. I'm only joking. What's the plan? You're eating. So, yeah, well, I've just explained it to him. So, you're going to try just one of my meals out of my six meals a day. And that's gonna be on my channel to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Go to his channel. Um, but yeah, so basically a bodybuilder has to be careful with even what seasoning they're using when they're on prep. Right. A lot of people don't realize that, but the type of salts, we use pink Himalayan salt instead of white salt. I did not know that. We stay away from like mixed seasoning. Like this is a um, occasion spice, but off season is fine. But a lot, of, I'm gonna show my weirdness now. They add sugar and stuff to this, so. When I'm on season, it's very basic stuff. Garlic, paprika, black pepper. You personally add sugar to that? No, that has it in. It's got right. all different preservatives in. So, uh, so you want to stay away from, to stay away from right. all that. Off season, and to most people, it doesn't actually make any difference. But we'll chuck some on there, mate. And then today, I mean, I, I eat relatively well, like stuff like this all the time, but you're going to try and eat my portion sizes. I was going to say, he says that. When we were in his gymnastics, it was relatively clean, or it was clean. It was a salmon fillet. And he had half of it, and we were there how long? About four hours? Three and a half, four hours easy. How much, what's your body weight at the minute? About 100? 97. 97. 97 kg. So mine's, mine's 60. Yeah, like still like about half. Yeah. 40 kilos. I think part of me, like, you'd be shocked how little a gymnast eats because they've got a, it's more about strength to weight ratio, so you want to stay light and lean. So Just, what What do you use for, would, would, did you have to have a certain diet when you were prepping it? We didn't have a specific like diet. We had nutritionists where they would it's just more advice. Right. So they didn't okay. Yeah, because it like it didn't have to be measured like you were not trying to look a certain way for, for performance. We just gotta do gymnastics. Yeah. Okay. So for us it's more how we feel in the gym. Protein were the most important in terms of muscle recovery because we're doing of course resistance, yeah. body weight, gymnastics training for I mean today's Thursday. It'd be I've been doing six hours today. Nearly it's like four to six hours. What, but straight, then we have to do it in like two hours since. So we do train three hours, three and a half, have a couple hours break, an hour and a half break, and then train another two. Depending on what we're doing that day or where it is in the year, but then we've got to recover to do another three hour session tomorrow. Okay. To be honest, man, I know obviously it was only a taste test of what I did, but you could see I was starting to really waver towards the end of that. My conversation was dying off and yeah, because yeah. I was lack of food, I was actually struggling. <clears throat> I'd gone flat and I was actually I need to eat it. Right, let's get let's this uh, food on the barbecue. Woo! So you're gonna eat my portions today. I'm supposed to be bulking. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna struggle so much, bro. 
I'll eat your portions between mine. <laughs> yeah! That's what most fitness influencers do on YouTube. When they're doing their eating videos, remember you only see what's on camera. You don't see what they're eating off camera. You used, what did you used to be before, a plumber? I was a plumber, yeah. Mate, you should have been a freaking landscaper. Have you seen this? He's built this himself. I got bored, you know, lockdown. I was like, I need to... I need to build something. When, when I got born in lockdown, I played Call of Duty and drank alcohol. I didn't freaking build this shed in my garden. Well, I just definitely. need to know what to do with it now. Suggestions. <clears throat> when we come back later and I get in that pond, am I allowed to get in the jacuzzi to warm up afterwards? Yeah, actually, we need to fill it up today, so yeah. Have you done cold water therapy before? Have you ever heard of it? I, I'm, I love it, mate. He's no, I'm not, I'm not taking the piss, like, genuinely. Oh, Recovery-wise, obviously, I had, I had treatment, physio, like, yeah, yeah, weekly, yeah. but my favourite thing, without a doubt, is ice baths. Brilliant. I don't think, I think with recovery, it's whatever you believe is making yeah. it. As long as you feel better, then it works. Yeah. Don't matter what the sign, like to me, it's just tiny percents. But for me, like I tried everything, cryo, hyperbaric, everything, See. ice bath. There's nothing like an ice bath in my opinion. Honestly, that is exactly what I've been saying. Cause I, I have, I've had stem cells, I've done everything, infrared saunas, a lot of acupuncture, everything you've just been saying, cryotherapy. And even if it's just a placebo effect, Absolutely. like you go in and you feel a million dollars after Absolutely. that. My physio is coming up tomorrow and he wants to try. We're going to get a sauna in there, get that blasting hot, and then jump between them. Hot and cold, man. Hot and cold, yeah. That's it. Without a doubt, it's the best thing in my opinion. But like you said about placebo, from my experience and what I learned, if you think it works, it works. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. It. So find, figure out what recovery methods you in, like you like that you know is helping you and just do that all the time. Yeah. The thing is, we went in there it January it was iced over the whole field was iced over me my physio was going right we need to ease yourself in breathing Wim Hof technique all this yeah, kind of yeah. Stuff. Oh, bollocks to that jumped in jumped in mate it was the Your worst heart stop no it was the worst thing in the world I, I couldn't breathe and I got this hysterical laugh and I'm like he's thinking why are you laughing I'm like I can't breathe I can't breathe <laughs> I was like oh it was horrendous don't try that at home ice bath give it a try tonight Have a go cooking then. Have a go cooking. Yeah, come on. I'm not eating. I've just been telling you off camera we can't cook. No way. I'm the chef in this house. You like? I love it as well, don't you? Now, Amy's the baker. I'm the cook. She can bake some proper, decent cakes and stuff. So, we just put a fly in the chicken, so... Yeah, that's exactly how I do it, Ryan, yeah? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to cook? Do you want to have a go? Uh, yeah, go on. I'll try and put a fly one then. I don't like this in my left hand. So I've got your right. Oh. Yeah, but then I've got to cook me. Yeah, mate, you've got to multitask. Like that, that's it, lad. Oh, it's exquisite. Oh, he's done it. He's only got to nail it. Flip it over. And oh, there, like that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. What have you done? <laughs> he's mutilated it. Yeah, right, I'm next one. Here. You do it. <laughs> we'll be here all day. <laughs> in terms of like the timing to the day, yeah. Do you just eat pretty, in terms of volume, do you eat like steady, consistent throughout the day? Because, like, the reason I ask, when I was training, going to do all that, I try to have as little as possible. So I would, I would barely eat anything from sort of waking up to finishing training. Not not nothing, yeah. but I'd just keep it light and like little and often. Yeah. And then I'd sort of have a, like a big proportion of my volume of food on the evening yeah. before so I slept. It's, it's a difficult one because I know why you said that, because you told me not to eat that big meal, didn't you, before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but ours is the opposite. Like, it depends what you're training. So we train in the morning faster, but it's low intensity, so you're not going to break down muscle fibers. It's just fat burning. Yeah. So do any type of like high intensity or low intensity cardio, this. And then we'll feed up, typically a bodybuilder will try and get as much food in as they can. High carbs, high fats, high protein. Say three to four meals. That's that gone, isn't it? That's my sign gone. <laughs> Fucking sad. That's just yeah. going to go. <laughs> that would have been something we shot at. <laughs> so you were saying? So I was saying. <laughs> yeah, so we'd get three to four big meals in because that's going to fuel that workout. So the more carbs, the more fats, that's an energy source for us. Yeah. So it makes more sense. You could even sometimes, it's not ideal, but I sometimes go in bloated because I've tried to put that much food in. And we, we typically eat an hour before we train, so it tries to digest and then yeah, gets yeah, out yeah. of the stomach so the blood can go into the muscle rather than into your stomach wall trying to. Yeah, there's methodology behind it, but again, it's types of food around training. We don't eat fats around training, most people know. We have our fats in the evening because it's slow digesting. So before we go to bed, if we have a steak or a salmon, it drip feeds the body as you're sleeping. Because we're eight hours sleeping, that's an eight hour window where we're not getting food in. So if you have slow digesting meats, i.e. 
fats, yeah, uh, salmon, steak, mackerel, all that. It drip feeds slowly through the night. Yeah. Whereas if you have a chicken or a fast acting protein, it's in and out of the system yeah, straight away. Yeah, yeah. You starving in the morning? Yes, absolutely starving. Yeah. Like, I, that's my problem as well. I struggle with breakfast. Like, I don't get hungry when I wake up. You know, until about at least two or three hours after I've woken up. But if I give, if I challenge you to, if you was to force food in, and I, I'll give it seven days max. That's all you'd need to force food in, and, and you not miss the meals. This is what I'm doing at the minute. Let's say the first week is horrendous. You're balking. You don't want to get it in and on. The following week, your metabolism, your body realizes. It's getting its meal when it yeah, needs it, yeah, yeah. and you'll get hungry and hungry. And when they say the breakfast is the most important part of the day, part of the meal of the day, it's because you fasted over eight hours, you've ate nothing, your metabolism, everything is sedentary. The moment you put a meal in, it kick starts the metabolism, yeah, yeah. It kicks everything up, fired up, ready for the day. If you don't eat, it's sedentary till 12 o'clock or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're starting at the wrong time of day. So that for us, it's important to get in as soon as possible, because yeah, yeah. then you can get more in. It's that as well, when people sometimes try to lose, <coughs> lose weight or fat they think I'll eat less yeah. or I'll skip breakfast yep. but then like your body doesn't it it sort of it hugs everything because it's like I'm not getting anything yeah it's like a sponge it's like yeah I'm, yeah. I'm going to keep hold of all this fat because I need it and it doesn't know when it's going to get it next and then it's almost like you can lose weight by eating more it sounds yeah. ridiculous but yeah. little thing often it starts kick starts it obviously it's better food yeah and what they say is obviously your body's a survival method it needs fat to survive it doesn't need muscle to survive yeah so it'll get into a state where right I'll get rid of the muscle keep the fat so you never want to get into that state. Yeah, I think that's where I got to. Right, do you want steak and eggs, you said, didn't you? Steak, eggs, big shake. Steak and eggs, big shake. Don't want much, does it? <laughs> this would be my lunch that would last me at least six hours. This is obscene. <laughs> this is a Nile Wilson meal, which you're going to eat. Yeah. Right, and I would probably, I space my meals out. I'd, I'd like to say I have like five, six hours between like just having three meals in a day. So that would be, I eat that at 12 o'clock, I probably won't eat dinner or something else till six o'clock. So that's six hours worth of fuel for me. So this is my six hours then. Is this what I eat in the equivalent of six hours in a day? If you were to swap each other's diets consecutively for six weeks, how detrimental and how positive would it be for each other? If we were to swap diets now, for me, obviously on his portion size, I would lose a lot of mass, muscle mass and just body fat in, in total in general because I have to eat most of this in order to hold my weight, hold my muscle mass. I think if Niall was to eat this and he's training the way he does for like gymnastics or for in weight training, he would see a positive, he would put body fat on, it would be a struggle obviously to try and get from that portion to this portion, but you, yeah, it could hurt your digestive system. To start. I think that, yeah, I think it's completely explored my stomach, stretch it out. I, I physically yeah. wouldn't be able to do it. <coughs> you can do all talking, so I'm starving. Look at him. <laughs> We're like 10 minutes over with me, I'm starving. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. Ryan's just cleaning up his kitchen because he's got mad anxiety about it being messy. He would not be able to live with me. We're about to go train shoulders. Nice. No, it's... How's it now? Oh, he's <laughs> it. He even flinch. I just tasted it. He's got to use that scoop. <laughs> it's really sour. So I don't, don't touch my mouth? Ah. <laughs> Oh, Covid rules. Yeah, it is, I thought. <laughs> oh, come on, look at that. It's not mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> it blows, it blows your head off, that, not it? So, the lads are in suit behind us. Obviously, I trained with Niall in gymnastics last week with uh, Ash and Stoney as well. And they wanted to come into my world and do a bit of bodybuilding. So it's a little bit of payback. Taking them down to my local, which is Good Bodies Gym. Meeting my training partner, Dan, and we're going to take them through a typical shoulder session. We say typical, but we might step up a little bit and uh, see who crumbles first. And I'm guessing Niall might crumble because he's already buzzing after the pre-workout, is he? So we shall see. And if you are interested in trying the pre-workout that you see Niall buzzing his tits off on, then check the link in the description below and go and check out. It's called the pre-workout. So my protein have quite a few different uh, pre-workouts, but it's the pre-workout from the pro range. 20 minutes into the pre-workout, how are we feeling? <laughs> if I was holding that camera, I'd be like that, yeah, I would be. <laughs> Have you had some? Yeah. <laughs> Cue cinematic music. Yeah. The way that you're the way Because there's quite a few of us, we're going to do like a giant set. So it's still bodybuilding movement, but it's going to be consisting of three exercises first, before we move on to another three exercises. <laughs> Oh, 
sort of training if you're doing body weight is definitely a place for weight training and I think for me it's the compound movements the squats heavy legs I mean like if you think when we're jumping off the rings on a high bar somersault and dismount and landing it's like three to five times body weight so we need strong legs we don't need big legs we need strong to be able to absorb the floor and all the body weight but I think the compound movements bench deadlift squat and the strength program almost like power lifting I've not felt like that in a long time. The, like the intensity of that bodybuilding workout is just next level shit. Yeah. So grateful, we're so grateful we've got the chance to train with the best in the world at his, you know, that, that his occupation and bodybuilding is fascinating. So different to gymnastics. We train six hours in a day, but we'd probably be on the apparatus 10, 15 minutes where in this hour and a half, two hours, we're literally exerting everything. Um, and listen, subscribe to Ryan. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We try to get this video to 50,000 views, and if we do, Ryan's gonna be giving away a free ebook for everyone who watches his next video. Link's in the description. Smash that like button, man. Share it. Do what you need to do. Apparently, it helps the algorithm and that. If you wanna see myself, Luke, and Ash, channel links are in the description. Lots of love. Trend smart. Keep it real. About to do some uh, bodybuilding posing now. Let's go. Let's go. Guys! <laughs> right, so we've done shoulders. Got a bit of a pump on. Now we're going to go through some bodybuilding slash men's physique pose because you compete down there. I did, yeah. I did. Just done one men's physique show. Want to compete this year or next year? Next year, next year. So we're going to go through it. As you come up. Shit. Let's see your best front double bicep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all wiggles. All about that wiggle. That wiggle right. big shows. Fucking arms are shit. Get a gamble like. Look, Niall, don't be a sign. You know that shape. That's what you get massively knocked down for. You do get knocked down for. Oh, massively, yeah. So you've got to keep it going. It's like a little bicep. Yes! That's it. Oh, got it. And then... Exhale yeah. slowly. Yeah. Big breath in as you start to pose, and slowly so exhale through your pose. There's two ways of doing it. So you can go up and, and inhale. So you're like keeping it in, and you're not breathing out. That's what bodybuilders do. But then... Just two different ways, two different variants of yeah. sitting on your abs or inhaling. That kind of gives you a little bit of a That's it, and then, yeah. So elbows back. So never come forward. Oh, oh ah. it's straight to a rear double bicep. Yeah. Show it off. With your rear. Rear double bicep. So you inhale as much as you can, and then as you exhale. So as you're coming down, Start exhale every. Yeah, yeah, he's, exhale, got, he's yeah. got a class midsection. Exhale everything out and hold, breathe through your teeth, then make it look easy. So, side chest. So, with this, when your legs are out, behind your legs, this thing's going So, you pull your weight into your right leg, this, knee pushes into that knee, so there's no pressure on this, there's no weight on this leg. So, you get, you can tense your calf, tense your piece of piss, you sit down on that leg, tense your tricep. Hold of the hand, as we hold, we twist our forearms to get a peak on the bicep. Yeah, that's a little insight into men's feet bodybuilding. Sure, it's not just going on stage and just tensing the yeah, out. So it's smart. such a, it's an art, an art, it's an art to even the, even the angling a certain way, you know, the judges are looking at an angle, and even think that. judges looking well, off, you think well, that. Yeah. Things as well, for men's feet, for bodybuilding, well, my poses wouldn't necessarily fit your pose in. So, if I, so you have to be quite, you have to spend hours, I know it sounds, in front of the mirror and I look, go for every bit of posing. That doesn't suit me. So that, that pose yeah. is going to have two seconds. I need to hit it because it's mandatory. But I'll do that for two seconds rather than five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. The, the poses are what are going to complement you. You stay here longer, you make sure everyone sees it. Yeah. 
yeah. or you start on it and you end on it. So the judges that's the last everlasting thing thought was, was that shot. Well, now we're now we're about to jump in the river because training shoulders isn't enough. So, <laughs> yeah. So now we've got to shock our bodies even more. It's cold. It's painful, but it does really make you feel better. Yeah. I'll have no doubt. Excited for this. Thing out the cat. I don't do cold. Niall has come into my world as well as Stoney and Ash, and he's at one. We kind of attempted one of my meals out of the six a day. He's been into my training session, which we did shoulders, a bit of bodybuilding posing. Now we're going into the cold water therapy. Now sounds like he's already done this and he's a bit of a fan of it. So, hey, so I, was, I was a fan of how it made you feel. I was a fan of actually doing it. So, what, are we going like, to all jump in together? Or is I don't, walking, I don't or personally is don't want to jump in. I just want to walk in. Oh, it's cold <laughs> on your feet than it was my hand. Yeah. That's cool, guys. It's a really good water therapy. <laughs> like, stand next to me, just jump in. Come on. No, I don't want to jump in, I'll step in. My back foot bit. Oh, you <laughs> That's the worst bit! <laughs> right, let's go. That's actually not cold at all. <laughs> That's nowhere near as cold as it was. Rocky, stay there, good boy. Should we hold hands and jump in together? Yeah. <laughs> your belly flop. What? <laughs> your belly flop. <laughs> Actually, you've got to take things to the next level. Don't bend it. Don't bend it. He's doing it. Oh, he is as well. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Don't think about Control it. Control the breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Control the breathing. He's getting in in a minute. He yeah, looks like he is. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like he is. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, what are we saying, lads? It's alright now. Do I have a lap? Have you seen that? I'll race you to the other end! <laughs> <laughs> See you back in Leeds. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I've had an absolute right day. I've absolutely loved it as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Cheers guys. Ray. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, please. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe to these channels as well. I'll put the link in the description below. Comment below as well, please. I'll see you in the next video. Woo! My nipples are non existent now. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>